Well, students are back at school in Parkland, Florida, the first day of classes since a former student killed 17 students and a teacher's at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. CBS News correspondent Henna Doba was there for the emotional return this morning. It was a somber scene outside Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School where students received flowers on their first day back since the Valentine's Day massacre. More than 400 law enforcement officers from around the state were on hand for security and dozens of parents and community members were there to show support. I'm nervous, but I'm just happy to see everyone come together and support each other. Many students wore t-shirts with their school colors and a simple message. MSD strong. You're all going to be great today. Fred Gutenberg had encouraging words for students returning to school today, including his son. His 14 year old daughter, Jamie, was killed in the shooting. My daughter, the strongest person I, I, I knew, she really was. Inside the school, the day began with fourth period, so teachers and students could reconnect with the people they were with when the shooting started. It's going to be different. We're going to have different things going on. I'm not just walking into school to like do math. Former student Nicholas Cruz is charged with 17 counts of premeditated murder. CBS News has learned he left 180 rounds of ammunition inside the school along with his rifle. Sources say he fired 16 rounds at a stairwell window trying to hit people below, but the bullets apparently did not pierce hurricane proof windows. His weapon is then believed to have jammed while reloading, which caused Cruz to flee. Florida's governor is promising to pass a school safety bill before the state's legislature ends its session next week. Hannah Doba for CBS 3 Eyewitness News.